There we have a box copy of MS-DOS 5. It's definitely seen better days. It's um, well, three and a half inch discs. Um, it's got a hole on the side, which is which where the um, hologram is supposed to show through. The hologram on that side. And let's see what it says on the back. MS-DOS operating system version 5.0 is the most important version of MS-DOS operating system in years. It gives applications more memory to use than older versions of DOS and takes out the mystery of DOS. For all levels of computer users, this is the version of DOS to own, especially if you use the Microsoft Windows graphical environment. System requirements. Personal computer with 8088 or higher processor. 512K of memory. 5.25 inch or 3.5 inch disk drive. See top of flap, now we've already done that, it's uh, 3.5. Microsoft mouse or compatible pointing device is optional. So, what have we got inside? We have user guide and reference. The uh, nice little hologram on it. Do you when software used to come with manuals? So much better. You felt like you were getting something for your money as well. MS-DOS getting started. You sold this one into drive air, start your computer, follow the instructions. So it's a good bit of getting started there. Take the five minute workout. Get the most out of the MS-DOS operating system version 5.0 with these five easy exercises. Microsoft MS-DOS version 5.0 is the most significant version of DOS in years. But well, don't take our word for it, see for yourself. Install it on your personal computer in minutes following the directions in your Getting Started manual. Then try these five easy exercises to discover features that aren't in any other version of MS-DOS. A license agreement, once again, is when it came on paper. Rather than scroll through ignore it, you can now have a book in which to ignore it. And it's one page. Imagine that, a license agreement being one page. And of course, use of the software program on the enclosed disk is subject to the terms of the Microsoft license agreement, separately enclosed in this Microsoft product box. You should not open this packet until you've read the Microsoft license agreement. By opening this packet, you signify that you have read the Microsoft license agreement and accept its terms. Well, you open it up, three disks. Three disks, all that for three disks. Let's see if it works, shall we?